Join me today as we make some simple little pancakes for the dolls in our dollhouse to enjoy for breakfast. Well, I always say the best way to start making miniature food is to look at it in real life. So I um, kind of stole this one from breakfast this morning. My son was incredibly happy when he woke up and realized that he got pancakes for breakfast today. Um, <clears throat> so he, he thanks you guys for watching the pancake video because he got pancakes today. So I so this is a really small one. This was kind of the end of the batter. Well, you can see it's, it's kind of a creamy color. It's got brown on the top. We're going to not bother with the bottom side. We're not going to color the bottom side of our pancakes. And like I said, this is pretty small. So we're going to make ours a little bit bigger in scale than this. But you notice it's colored only on the top. And the sides don't have any color. And in fact, there's no color right on the rim. So first we start with our clay. I mixed up this color clay. And I think it looks... See so how close that is? Isn't that awesome? That is... Fimo Vanilla with a little bit of Fimo White in it. Um, so it, it was super simple color to make. And we're going to cut, I've rolled it out into approximately a snake that's about a quarter inch in diameter. And I'm cutting my pieces eh, a little bit more than a quarter inch, probably about three eighths of an inch long. Um, remember pancakes come in all different sizes. You can get pancakes that are as big as your plate or you can get little itty bitty dollar size pancakes. So you can make your pancakes the size you want them in your mini world. Um, doesn't really matter. Now for this project we are just going to roll all of these pieces out into little balls. I only want balls now for what I'm doing, I'm aim well, you know, whatever size you cut your thing, quarter inch ish size balls of clay. And if you've got little bits of color in your clay, like for some reason my white has picked up a bunch of little specks of blue, and it's in the part that I just opened. It's not a part that's been opened before. So I don't know what happened to my white clay, but um, in this it won't matter because we'll be covering those up. So we make little balls. And put the balls right on your paper plate. Now, really important, you need to dip your finger in cornstarch. So it's just plain cornstarch. This does two things. It will prevent your finger from sticking to the clay, and it will also minimize your fingerprints on the top of the clay. You want some texture. And you're going to push down pretty hard. You want these pretty flat. And depending on how warm it is and how warm your hands are, um, I just got done washing dishes, so mine are, my hands are a little on the warmer side right now. And they may still be a little damp, so they're sticking to the clay more than they did earlier when I did this. Just the cornstarch will help a lot. And we're just really smashing these down on there, on here. Now if you wanted to, you could put these right on your plate. You're going to serve them on, but for pancakes, I like to do them and move them onto the plate when they're baked. And if you feel any stickiness, be sure and dip back in the cornstarch. You kind of rub your finger around the tops because you want to minimize those fingerprints. I do believe that's a fleck of nail polish. Oh well, it'll get covered. I'm working on so many projects right now, it's hard to keep everything cleared off my tray. All right, now you need your chalk and you need a wet wipe. And I experimented with this earlier and found the best combination. Wipe your fingers off with a wet wipe. Now, we are starting with, and we're going to use our fingertip to apply our chalk today. Start off with yellow ochre. That's that dark golden yellow, kind of a mustardy yellow color. And rub that on. And I'm going to go through and do 
all of my pancakes. Not going all the way to the edge, not going down over the edge. And you can make each one a little different. They don't all have to be the same. Because, you know, there's each, each pancake is a little bit individual. Right now, wipe your finger off with the wet wipe. Dry it off. And we are going to, this kind of a, one of these two colors, either of these two, kind of a rusty brown color. Not really an orange, but kind of a rusty color. And again, we're going in this just on the top. I'm not doing each, I'm not doing them all the same. But I'm doing less of this than I did the yellow ochre. And see how I'm varying the color? Yeah, I don't know what that is. That must be nail polish. Let's see if I can get that off of there. That's annoying me. Come on. Yep. No, but I just pushed it down in more. Now, we're going to take this kind of a, a light brown. And you're going to do less of this than you did of the other colors. And this is another one of those foods where it really does help to have an example in front of you. And I like to take the brush and kind of blend these colors together at the end. And that's all there is to coloring these. I'm going to go bake these at about 265, 250. What does this clay bake at? Let's see if I can find the directions. 230. 230 degrees and I'm only going to bake these about five minutes probably because they're really really thin so I'm going to get these baked and then I'll come back and we'll go to the next step so our pancakes are now baked and I think they look pretty darn good they look pretty yummy to me let's see if I can pop them off of here they will be stuck to your paper plate and so I just need to run a blade underneath and just pop them up and let's make a stack of pancakes now what I'm using for syrup I couldn't get a glass paint that I liked exactly for the syrup color so I am mixing half and half amber gallery glass and cocoa brown gallery glass I've tried a couple of different combinations and these two together in pretty much equal parts seem to make the best syrup color. And right now it doesn't look very good, but it will dry. I'll show you the how it looks when it starts. Where's the one I just did? So let's see. Let's take, let's make a stack. We're going to run a little syrup in here. And we'll put our next pancake on top. And then after this dries, then I'll pull it up off. Let's do one more pancake. Let's make a stack of three. Oops. Don't slide off of there. The gallery glass will act as a glue in addition to being our syrup. Where's the camera? Now if you wanted to put some butter on, you could put butter on with just a, um, a bit of um, um, Fimo, just bake a little square, but I, I don't think we need the butter. I think it'll look good with just the syrup dripping down. But feel free to put butter on too if you want. We'll let that dry. And then we can glue it onto the plate. We'll probably add a little more syrup after this dries. I'll get out a plate 
to put this on and then we can set it up on a plate and put some more syrup on because I like to layer the syrup. All right, so we're ready to glue our pancakes to our plate. For the plate, I'm using one of those metal plates that I showed you how to deal with a few videos ago. Um, and all I did was I painted it with a white primer and then I coated it with a with Ceramicoat's navy blue because I just felt like making this a blue plate. I thought that would be pretty. And then it's got a high gloss spray finish over the top. So we've got our pancakes. And I think I guess we've got well I'm gonna add a little more syrup to them. And I think I'm going to use just to make sure they stay down. I'm just gonna put just a dab a 527 cement on the bottom because 527 really holds Fimo nicely to these plates. And I think we need just a touch more syrup on these guys. I guess I'll bring my paper plate over here. So let's get a tiny squirt of cocoa brown, tiny squirt of amber, Remember, keep them about equal, and we won't need a lot. Mix this together. And let's just bring a little bit down. And it will, with time, gravity will bring this down onto the plate. So there we have it. I'll let this dry, and I'll get some photos of the plate of pancakes. I hope you enjoyed this project, and um, we'll see what I do next week. We'll make something else fun. I'll talk to you later. Bye.